back everybody at the bat here. So we are doing another week of fan casting. For now, now officially, since we heard at Comic Con this, not Comic Con, CinemaCon, a lot of cons. Um, CinemaCon, Warner Brothers came out, I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday, and they, the first thing they announced was, yes, the Batman 2, the Batman sequel, is officially in development. So we are officially getting a sequel to the Batman, which is a no-brainer because the movie has made almost 800 million. I mean, and I remember when it debuted on HBO Max last week, it's now the number one movie that has ever streamed on the chat on the streaming service. So yeah, we're getting a Batman sequel. It's fucking Batman. That's their biggest IP for Warner Brothers when it comes to comic books. It's Batman. So, now that we are officially getting a Batman movie sequel, <coughs> now my lovely fan casting might actually come to fruition with some of those actors. So keep watching those fan casting videos. So today, I'm doing another one. And this time, we are doing Jonathan Crane a.k.a. Scarecrow. And the reason why I bring up Scarecrow is because in the Batman movie, in the beginning of the Batman movie, we saw little um, images and we saw a guy with like a like a raindrop uh, mask on. I'm going to bring up the photo. And this guy, all of the, these guys give out drugs. You know, and I, I was and I was thinking when I was watching the movie, like, I wonder if that's a hint to Scarecrow, who starts doing drugs and then develop the toxin, fear toxin, and so on and so forth. So I said, I wonder if they're going to bring in Scarecrow, maybe down the line. <coughs> maybe he worked at Arkham Asylum, or maybe, and then later in the movie we see on we saw on Batman inject himself with something. Maybe he got it from Jonathan Crane. Um, so I said, I wonder. And, you know, we've had Scarecrow before. Batman Begins. Uh, one of my favorite Batman films. We, 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 that was the first time we saw Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. AKA Scarecrow on screen, played by the great Killian Murphy. Um, I really liked him in that role. And then, of course, he showed up in The Dark Knight for one scene. And then he showed up in The Dark Knight Rises for one scene. But in The Batman Begins, I really liked him in that. Um, I loved that interrogation scene with Carmine Delconi. When he finally puts on the mask, the burlap mask. And then later on in the movie, in the third act, when he captures Rachel Dawes, and Batman comes in and saves her, and... You know, one of the one of his henchmen goes, you know, but the madman, he has a talent for disruption. Um, yeah, my okay. So I have five hits. They're not in any really order. I'm just gonna go through the names. <coughs> Uh, Zachary Quinto. Uh, Zachary Quinto to me would be a perfect Dr. Crane. He just has that, nothing about him, that subtleness. That he can be very subtle and very, you know, doctor-like. But then have this underbelly of evil to him. Um, he was on the show Heroes, which at first they made him out to be a villain. When he was actually a good guy. And then he was in, uh, obviously, for me, I know him better for playing Spock in the rebooted Star Trek movies. I think he's been a perfect casting of Spock. Um, and something about him, I just think he would be, maybe they want to go with someone in their 40s, someone more like the Colin Farrell route, like Oswald Cobblepot. <coughs> I think he would be a good choice. 
Uh, no, uh, my next thing is Caleb Landry Jones. He was in the movie Get Out. He played the son of the White family. Um, <laughs> and he was in an X-Men First Class. Um, something about this guy has this look to him that he can be like a little, a little sketchy. A little, you know, like, yeah, I can see that guy doing drugs. I don't know why. I just see that guy, you know, putting you in drugs. I don't know. I just, especially when you watch him and get out, you know, that guy is on something. I don't know what it is, but he's on something. <coughs> um, so I, I can easily see him. He's around that same age as Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz. So, and they want to get someone starting up, you know, whether it's starting by being a drug dealer and then working on his drugs to make him perfection to where he gets into, like, toxins and stuff like that. That would be a good route to go. Um, Harry Melling. Now, this is a name that is going to shock everybody that I, that I put this name on my list. Harry Melling. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, Who is Harry Melling? Harry Melling is Dudley Dursley. <coughs> he, he was in a half of the Harry Potter movies as Harry's cousin. Um, but recently, in the past two years, he's been in a lot of Netflix shows and movies from he was in the Queen's Gambit with Anya Taylor Joy. He was in that movie with Charlie Theron, the old guard, playing the villain in that. And he was also in that other I forget the name of it. That other Netflix movie with Tom Holland, Robert Pattinson, um, Riley Keo. Forget the name of it. But he's already been in a movie with Robert Pattinson. So, and he was, he was creepy in that movie. So I'm like, you know, this guy can play a good villain. And something about him, he just has that look. That I would say, you, you sit in the Gotham, and I can see you being like a Jonathan Crane. Um, plus he's already worked with Warner Brothers, obviously. For many, many years on the Harry Potter movies. So he's already part of the Warner Brothers family. So, and Warner Brothers really likes to work with people in their, in their little circle. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a shocking choice. But a good, unexpected choice. Uh, now this next one, I could go with either brother in this category. I would either say Syrian Culkin or Rory Culkin. Yes, these are the brothers of Macaulay Culkin. Ah! Um, now, I don't know much about Syrian Culkin. He's on the show Secession. I mean, I've seen a few, few episodes and he's very good. But he just has that greasy, you know, he can be very serious, look to him, and you know, I said, hey, why not, we gotta get a coke in here. I would, when I, and, and it was, if it was me though, like, if I just use what coke in, I would go after, I would say Rory. Rory coke in, is not as famous as his other brothers. Um, but Rory Culkin was the little boy in Signs with Mel Gibson. But for me, the role that really like, oh, this dude can do it. He was in Scream 4. And a minor spoiler, the movie came out 11 years ago, Rory Culkin ended up being one of the uh, ghost face killers. And let me tell you, He's very good. Because at first he plays, first he's like this nerd, 
He has his own film club. Um, <laughs> and we find out he's one of the ghost issuers. And it, the way he's able to be charming and, you know, funny and knowledgeable about movies. And then you see him in the third act and he's like this straight up serial killer. You go, whoa. This dude has a lot of range. And he just has that, with the long hair, and that, just that look on his face, I'm like, dude, this dude would be perfect for Jonathan Crane. Um, so Rory Colton is another name. My final name is Adam Driver. Adam, now before people go, oh my god, really? And because you watch the Star Wars movies, as he played Kylo Ren, I think he was one of the best parts of that trilogy. Um, Adam Driver has been around for a while. He's also done a lot of great movies. Um, he was in This Is Where I Leave You, where he's kind of funny. He was in Marriage Story with Scarlett Johansson on Netflix. Got him a, I think he got him an Academy Award nomination. Um, he was in that Martin Scorsese movie with The Priest. Very good in that. He was just in House of Gucci. Good in that. I mean, there is not a movie that I have seen with Adam Driver that I can honestly say, oh, he was bad in that movie. No, he's been, in, he's been good in everything he's done. Whether the movie lived up to, it, to his potential, that's a, that's a different story. But I think Adam Driver, first of all, he's a big guy. Lanky, big, tall. You almost would guess the one who might be on drugs to look like that. Plus he can bring that, you know, being that tall, that, that presence to him up against Batman. That I think would be really interesting. And, you know, why not? He's a nomi Oscar nominated actor. He's very good. You know, he's still on the rise of an actor. A movie like Batman, you know, Star Wars wasn't as successful as he wanted it to be. But Batman could be a different story. So those are my tips for Scarecrow. Like and comment down below. Let me know what you think.